Uh, hi there, and thank you for looking in. I'm Lanise Lagan. We have a lot to cover on Fox 10 News at 4. First up, a major announcement from the Mobile County Public School System. The superintendent, Cressel Threadgill, making a stunning decision. Students will not head back to class anytime soon. At the earliest, it looks like it will be in November. Fox News reporter Shelby Meyer standing by live now with that breakdown. Shelby, Threadgill basically saying this is all about keeping the students safe. Yeah, it really is, Lenny. Superintendent Kressel Threadgill making the announcement an hour ago that school will not resume as planned on August 10th. Instead, it will start back on September 1st, and even then, it's going to be remotely. Students will spend the first nine weeks learning from home. Now, Threadgill making that tough decision, saying it's best for the 53,000 students and 8,000 staff that he works for. The school system will use this month and August to deliver several thousands of laptops laptops and Wi-Fi capabilities to all students. Then after the nine weeks of virtual learning that begins in September and if COVID-19 cases start going down, Threadgill says they will consider three options, face-to-face, -face, remote, and virtual learning. Virtual being kids will go in on their laptops and log in to do schoolwork and remote learning that means students will be led by a teacher. I asked Superintendent Threadgill about the hardship that this is going to cause some parents. Here's what he had to say. My heart goes out to the parents. I know this is a very difficult time. I am a parent of three uh, students. Um, myself and my wife, we work, so I understand the hardship that this put on parents. Um, but as a superintendent, I have to focus on their safety and their well-being, not only for the students, but the teachers, the grandparents that the kids go and see, the parents that the kids go and see. I have to take all those things in consideration. Uh, so my heart does go out to the parents. Now, we didn't get a specific amount, but Superintendent Threadgill says this remote learning is going to cost the school system millions of dollars. Now, some of that will be taken care of by the CARES Act project, but of course, some will not. We're live in Mobile County, Shelby Myers, Fox 10 News.